NRG has arrived. Trevor and I are very excited. Trevor? Super excited. Pretty sure we got like the string wheels from here. Tito's super. Excited. Tito, you pumped or what? What about you, Riley? Mm -hmm, same. Short hub action. Yeah, that's really nice. Feel that. Oh, that's nice, dude. That's sick. Oh yeah. Boxing is actually super dope. Like everything's yeah. been sick. Dude, that's sick. I haven't seen any of this. I haven't seen anything you picked out. Yeah, I got the suede. I'm super pumped to feel it. Oh, this is sick. Oh, yeah. That is a wheel. Oh, dude, this is going to make the car completely different. 100%. Dude, look at that. Can you see that texture on camera? Yeah, yeah. hold on. Hold on. Let me focus. It. Smell it, dude. Yeah, it's like that brushed metal uh, with what? the suede. See the back of it? Makes me want brushed wheels. Super clean. I'm really impressed with all their packaging and everything. Mm -hmm. You guys already saw the wheel again. We got our quick release. We got our short hub. We got um, bolts, some adapters it looks like are fittings, uh, gaskets, uh, this to put in there to seal the hub, I think and some wiring if you want to leave the airbag um, wires there or cut them out up to you. Um, let's just dive right into it. Before you start any of this, disconnect your battery to reduce the risk of you getting obliterated by your airbag some, for some odd reason. Looking at the stock steering wheel, let's just straighten it out for good measure. And then on these both sides right here of the wheel, there is a security key style bolt, which is like a Torx bolt, but with a hole in the middle. Um, you might have to go to the store and buy these. I'll leave a link in the description to order them on Amazon, but we're gonna slide it in there. And this is going to release the airbag so we can pull it out. I already left them hand tight for us. And there's little plastic um, circles that pop off, which to get those off, all I did was to use a little pick and then just pry it out. Let me get the other side off real quick. Both bolts are out. Now we can kind of slide our airbag off. And oh look, mine's already disconnected. Shocker on this bunk car. But normally there's two clips here. You take a flathead screwdriver, you pop the black tabs off and then slide these off. But yeah, sick, uh, don't need to do that. This is for my airbags that are broken. This guy was slid onto here. I pulled it off. And then this wire was in this little tucker right here. I'm gonna pull it off. And now we have access to our 19 millimeter nut in the middle for our steering wheel, which I have my little impact gun. If you guys don't have tools like this, I have them in the description. There it goes. Now we're gonna have a little bit of slack. Uh, there's a tip too, if you leave the nut just on the end of this, you can yank on it as hard as you can without worrying about hitting yourself in the face. <laughs> All right, that's a good idea. Okay, here is our clip. I'm gonna press in the middle and just pull it out. There's that came in the box for the hub. And this is a direct fit to our gray plug, which is a ground I think is just connected. And I'm not sure what to do with these guys yet, but we're gonna keep moving. The Energy Short Hub, which if you look at the top right here, there's a dot by one of these guys right here. And then there's a line just for center on your shaft. And we're gonna line up those as close as possible with the correct spline. And then you can run your wires through here at the bottom as well. Nut. Tight, not going anywhere. We have our one wire coming out of our new adapter, and this is the piece of the hub that's 
piece of the quick release that stays on the hub. And I'm just gonna connect it. There's two of these, one's a little smaller. This is your ground, which is gonna make sense in a second. So make sure you have that in between. And we're gonna take our wire, plug in the yellow to the black. And then your ground is gonna slide on this guy right here. All the way, that's tight. Tighten these around evenly. Don't just torque one down. Treat it like a wheel in your lug nuts. Maybe in a star pattern. Some bolts I need to tighten. These bolts are pretty soft. Don't crank on them too hard. Don't want to strip it. Okay, now that we got that on there. We've got our wheel now. It's the same Allen. And then we're going to take the nuts off the back of these. All the bolts are out of the wheel from the box, and then let's connect our wires real quick. Hi, this is Tanner. Here to assist the other goons trying to put a steering wheel on. I need more hands. I'm proud of them for not blowing airbags into their faces and surviving the day. Last bolt. One thing to take in consideration is right here there's a snap ring and out of the box we got ours the snap ring comes together and the two ends meet and they are meeting in this gap and then when you would pull it off the hub it would just be all whack so we had to take this snap ring off and then the point where it meets together is at the bottom now so let's check this out so you grab it slide it on no problem good it's on the wheel and then grab it and then no problems with that snap ring and not in the right spot which only some of you might run into that issue like we did just know that you just need to move the snap ring and then it's a quick easy function it's not a bad design it's just the snap ring got moved over somehow in the shipping process or whatever so yeah and then you can't really grab it like this you just gotta grab it through the middle and then when you park you can set it up like this like a hot boy you're well, this is different. Wow, fancy. The steering wheel feels already very close to me, which the other option is to get a flat steering wheel. Mine's kind of concave towards you, which I thought for sure I'd like better, which I'm gonna figure out as time goes on. So that's kind of why I want to take it for a ride is to see how this feels having the short hub and then also having the uh, quick release it brings the steering wheel way close to you so this could be a bad thing having a steering wheel like this but if it sucked I could just take the quick release off and save it for the STI or something I'm all the way back in my seat so I mean if you're any shorter than 6.1 and you're up here like might want to get a flat wheel with the quick release but I mean it, it gets kind of nice like you're in a lot of control it makes the car feel a little bit closer to you you feel like you're a part of it more you know I like it so far I need to do some corners to figure it out and then when we go drifting again maybe sucky maybe awesome we'll have to let you guys know you guys want one of these awesome wheels quick releases short hubs check out the links in the description thank you NRG for sending this out we are super pumped I really love this color and it's just awesome to have a wheel that we can pull off now and uh, just have look pretty and it feels good to grab like me and Trevor were talking about it just feels much more race cars because the grip is a little bigger it's softer it's funner to hang on to it's it's almost a little easier to turn because you have more leverage now with this wheel so yeah, other than that, um, we're pretty pumped on it. Just to know, if you do 
if you're tall or short or whatever and you end up being closer to the wheel you might want to get a flat wheel because look how close this is to me already i'm kind of a lazy driver i like to slouch and hold at the bottom so it works for me it's kind of just right in my hands but like trevor was saying he'd probably just do a short hub with one of these wheels concaved or do the quick release with a flat wheel just so it doesn't stick out as far um, but yeah, other than that, I'm super pumped on it. We got some more energy stuff to install soon. So um, I appreciate you guys watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!